One of Kikert's most important strengths is that it supports a variety of operating systems, including macOS, Windows, and many Linux distributions like Ubuntu and Kubuntu. I primarily use macOS, but I also work with Windows and Ubuntu, which offer a very similar experience for me and pretty standardized across all three operating systems. In this lecture, just wanted to show you what your options are when it comes to downloading an appropriate version of KiCad for your operating system, plus a new option that became available with KiCad 8. So here I am at the homepage on KiCad.org. You can find all the available downloads here in the middle a blue button. So just click on download and you'll see what your options are. Let's say for example that you want to install KiCad for Windows. Let's go into Windows. And again, what I'm going to show you is it's equivalent across the three operating systems. And you'll see that there is a stable release which provides you access to currently version 8.0.3. That's a 64-bit option for KiCad on Windows. So you can download your copy of the binary with the installer by just clicking on the mirror that is closest to you. So you can allow the download to continue. I'm going to cancel out here and just go back to my previous page. I'll go back to Windows and if you scroll down you'll see also that you have access to all previous releases. So if for some reason you want to backtrack, go back earlier to an earlier version that you can use one of those zip files down here to download a previous version. So for example, you go for the 64 version of KiCad 8.0.3 release candidate one for the x86 architecture or also now for the ARM architecture. So that's another option. Just a short interruption to let you know that this video is part of my comprehensive KiCad course that will teach you every aspect of creating printed circuit boards with KiCad from scratch. Go to the course page to learn more about it if you want. Find the link to the course page in the description below and treat yourself with a discount coupon for my YouTube viewers. Okay, let's continue with the video. There's yet one more option that is worth mentioning here, and that is the nightly development builds option. So this is the leading or bleeding edge of KiCad, and this gives you access to the absolute latest version that literally is less than one day old. You can see this was last modified today. So in my case, for example, if I wanted to get the latest possible version of KiCad for Windows, I download this particular version. You can see it's nightly 8.99, which is a, a code indicating that this particular fork of KiCad will eventually morph into KiCad 9.0 sometime in 2025. So this is for the Brave View. I don't tend to use these for work-related design, uh, only just to see what is going on with the latest and greatest from the KiCad development team. So exactly the same options are available for macOS. You can see stable release, same version 8.0.3. There's previous releases and nightly development builds. And of course, the same thing happens with Linux. Now with Linux and Ubuntu in particular, they supported installation mechanism uses the apt get system to install KiCad. So if you're familiar with Ubuntu, you know how that works. There's instructions here on how to install the appropriate repository to Ubuntu and then how to install KiCad itself. So I'm sure you're familiar with that. Uh, uh, if you're using Ubuntu, uh, you probably already know how to do this. There's also a different apt repository for nightly builds. So the instructions here are slightly different to what you'd see in Windows and Mac OS. There's also instructions for Fedora and uh, there's also a flat pack option, a flat pack uh, software distribution system for providing up-to-date versions on many Linux distributions. I haven't used Flatpak, so I can't really recommend it or say anything for or against it. All right, there's Debian, etc. You can see there's a wide support for a, a wide range of Linux distributions. Now, I mentioned at the beginning of this lecture that there is one new option, and that is Docker. So Docker would be useful for anyone who is interested in using KiCad programmatically via the KiCad 
CLI interface. I've got lectures that explain how this works. But if you are interested in using, for example, Python or other programming languages uh, for that matter, to interact with KiCad programmatically, that means on the command line, then you can consider installing KiCad via Docker. Now, if you do that, you're not going to be able to use the GUI interface of KiCad in that normal, traditional sense. You're not going to be able to use the editors, for example, to create designs. Uh, this option is specifically for use with the command line interface. So that's about it. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to show you how to install KiCad on each operating system step by step. I'm sure that this is something that you can do on your own by looking at the instructions. And the KiCad developer team has refined the installer over the years. So the installation process on the supported operating systems is very smooth and it's uh, as easy as installing any other application on these operating systems. So I'll let you go ahead now and download and install KiCad for your operating system and then we'll continue in the next lecture where I'll give you a demo. We'll go through KiCad and most of its included applications and give you a demonstration using one of the supplied demo PCBs. So we're not going to have to do any actual design work ourselves, but we're just going to browse the KiCad applications and start becoming familiar with them.